war is necessary. There is no, no doubt that no rational one, no decent one will say that there is an unnecessary war, an unnecessary war. Mm -hmm. No war is necessary. But the question is, who choose to put the others in this war? Mm -hmm. to, to, to answer this question, we should go to, um, to the point where to measure, um, um, at, at what time to measure the issue. This chronic issue should be measured since the, from the roots of it. I mean, in 1948, when Israel or the Israeli gangs, the Jewish Israeli gangs at that time succeeded, unfortunately, to uproot the Palestinian people from their homeland. This is the root issue. This is the root of the problem. But not to say that last Friday or last Saturday. Why no one would like to measure the issue just one day, 24 hours before Saturday, when the, the Israeli military force, the Israeli occupation force, and the settlers killed seven Palestinians. Since the very beginning of this year, till last Friday, 252 Palestinians was killed, as assassinated. Why no one would like uh, to take care, or, or all of these people can, did not make news to, um, um, to it, or trigger the agency news to come and to ask the Palestinian people about their tragedy. This is the point. The Western media is used to be completely biased to the Israeli narrative. Part of our colleagues, whom is ambassadors in some of the um, Western country, begging these days just to come to tell their narrative, and no one allowed them to go on the media, on the, um, uh, I mean, on the TVs, different TVs, to tell the, the other part of the story. This is the point. It's not a new issue, it's a well-known issue. Again, um, uh, this is an, a very important question. The only way for the Israeli to justify their occupation, to justify the, running, the current running genocide that they're conducting against the Palestinian people, to justify the war crime that they conducted before and conducting right now is to align to, uh, or to classify part of the Palestinian people, likewise um, um, other terrorist groups all around the world. The question is, are we rational enough to, um, to take a deep look to this issue? Let me just give you another example, um, more than one example when it came to, to the classification and how the Israeli occupation classified the people whom is resisting their occupation, whether they are a military resistance, but or, or peaceful resistance, or by, um, by any mean to resist them. They classified the President Abbas, who is the one sign uh, also occurred as a terrorist diplomat. Mm. President Abbas is the godfather of, beside Chairman, Ab uh, Chairman uh, the late Chairman Yasser Arafat, is the godfather of the Oslo Accord, the peace process itself. And they classified him, they labeled him as a terrorist um, uh, uh, diplomat. If you, a Nigerian, and align yourself to start to tell the narrative with the Palestinian people, to start dis to distribute um, 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 the Palestinian story, and to align yourself with them, this means that according to the Israel, you will be classified as anti-Semite. Mm -hmm. If you are a Jew, and align yourself, and accept to, um, um, uh, to go with the Palestinian narrative, and to uphold the Palestinian narrative, this means that you are uh, self-hating Jews. So that the classification is there, but, th but where they gonna put you? Hate, self-hate Jew, anti-Semi, uh, Holocaust denier, or, uh, um, uh, or a terrorist. This is the point. By any mean, um, we cannot accept this classification under any circumstances. The ground is there. The bat is already no, open. I, I mean, I, 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 I'm coming to that. I'm coming to the ground is there. The bat is there. Um, everything is ready to sit to the negotiation table and to put um, once and forever into this tragedy. The question is when, as you rightly mentioned, when this is the one million dollar question. When the international community stop treating Israel as a, as a state above the international community, when the international law and the international agreement and the uh, United Nations resolution became applied on Israel, when Israel abide itself by the international law, by the, um, um, the UN resolution, all of this is the only way to put an end to this tragedy. This is the only way that we can say 
yes, we, 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 we come to the end of this um, uh, atrocity. So international law, period. One word, loud and clear, international law. The applicability, the equal applicability of the international law for every, every state in this world. Israel has treated itself as a country above the international law. Israel did not abide, did not care about the international law, did not take care about the UN resolution. This is because there is unlimited political, media, uh, and, uh, and to some extent, uh, uh, um, I mean, uh, political and media support to the Israeli occupation. This is the point. When, um, and of course, part of this support is uh, military support, unlimited and unconditional support to Israel. So that, yes, Israel, Israel is treating itself as a country above the international law, and there is a lot of support to that. Of course, it's not only one example or two tens of examples, but let me take you back 75 years ago when the United Nations uh, uh, adopted the resolution 181. This, in this resolution, the United Nations um, decided to divide the historical land of Palestine between we, the Palestinians, and the Jews at that time, to establish two states. Israel succeeded to defeat us, to uproot us, to ethnically cleanse us, to, and to build it is a state in 78% of the historical land of Palestine, and did not accept it to apply or to uphold or to respect this resolution and to accept the building. Then after less than one year uh, later of this resolution, uh, the international community, the same exact body, the General Assembly, United Nations General Assembly, which created and allowed Israel to be a state, to become a state, created and adopted another resolution uh, um, uh, uh, one nine four. In this resolution, uh, this resolution called for our father, our my father and his family and all of the other refugees to back to their uh, um, homeland. And Israel refused to uh, adopt this resolution. Israel became a member state on the United Nations uh, on, on, under one condition: is to accept the applicability of uh, one eight one resolution and one nine four resolution. And they issued and sent an official letter. They will accept it if after they will become an, a member in the uh, United Nations. And they became a member and they refused to apply uh, uh, to um, the applicability of those two resolutions. This is two, very two uh, basic resolution. But if you want to go to the, or if you want to dig of the international law, no, the Israel did not, did not recognize um, uh, Geneva Convention and it is, uh, um, um, that, or the, the, the UN Charter or anything. Yeah, Israel is a country, treated itself as a country above the international law. And this is well known issue. Yes, yes, every time. I had been, I spent there in the United Nations eight years and I'm, I'm, I'm very familiar with our uh, mission there. How did we used to work with the international community? And the whole entire international community that know that uh, Israel is. Um, is not abiding itself and will not accept the applicability of any of those international uh, agreement or the international law, um, um, Geneva Convention and all of these uh, and other, uh, of course, um, um, you know, um, um, other uh, international, uh, I mean, um, documents and other issues will not allow, uh, did not abide by any one of it. Uh, the international community know that. Everyone all around the new world that know that Israel is uh, a country above the law. Because the godfather of Israel is the European country and the Western country in general and the United States of America. And as I already mentioned and told you that they, especially the United States of America, is unconditional unlimited support. They, they, they gave the Israeli unconditional and unlimited support to the end, whether it is political support, uh, military support, or in the media support. For example, uh, United States of America and the Security Council have the, uh, the right to, uh, the, the veto right. Mm -hmm. America used the veto right approximately 80 uh, times during the whole entire history. More than half of it against the Palestinian people in favor of the Israeli population. Uh, uh, the, the Israeli, officially, the Israeli government declared a war against uh, 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 Gaza. 
and they mentioned that they are fighting or uh, this war against human animals. Could you imagine they describe us 2.2 million human being in Gaza as a human animals. They completely cut, shut down electricity, water, food supply, medicine supply. Everything is completely shut down. And this very morning, calling for 50% of the in, uh, Gaza inhabitant from in the north to move to the uh, south. This is what is happening. There is a genocide. There is a war crime is running right now in Gaza. There is a war crime running right now in Gaza. This is a genocide. Loud and clear. This is what I can. Um, uh, this is something you should know. Uh, you should back to the what is the honor war reporting and other honest or mediator uh, and um, 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 uh, neutral mediator. What did they uh, uh, reporting about the human situation there in Gaza? In Palestine. As you rightly mentioned, you grow up knowing that those in the Middle East is the terrorist people. Thank you so much. This is the the fabricated media. This is the um, 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 the propaganda that we in the Middle East used to um, uh, to find ourselves trapped by, it. especially the Palestinian. We, according to the Israeli classification, all of the Palestinians uh, is terrorist people, and they have, um, 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 uh, you know, um, uh, I mean, they, they they used to say that the good Palestinian is the death one. Hmm. Wow. This is this is something is well known. You can search it. Then Google search it. So the, this is the media. This is the power of the media that uh, portray us in the Middle East, in particular the Muslim people in the Middle East, in Palestine, as a narcissist, as a, uh, uncivil and the terrorist people. No one. But the media also hide that part of us is a Christian people. And part of us is a Jewish people also. Part of us is a Christian people who is under a threat. Likewise, uh, me and everyone in the press. Nobody gonna tell you that the third oldest um, uh, church in the world in Gaza was uh, hit just three days ago and bombarded. The question is, is it time to? Uh, nobody also told you that Beit Lahem is a pure Palestinian territory. Nobody told you that the Holy Tam is a pure Palestinian um, um, place. It's in the occupied East Jerusalem. Nobody told you that the Christianity is part of the Palestinian heritage. Nobody will tell you that because this will might uh, hurt the Israeli occupation um, uh, narrative. So that the media is playing a crucial role in that. The media is playing a damage role sometimes when they just go to focus in one side of the story. There is another side. Not only, I can provide you and everyone here in Nigeria, and many people who are Christian Jew can tell the other part of the story. I'm very open to, um, um, to share with you and with any one of the media here. A lot of names, Jew, Christian, Muslims, Israelis, um, Palestinians, that gonna tell you another, another, the other part of the story. Yes, of course, one word loud and clear. Our problem is not with the Israeli people, as, and also with, is not with the Jewish people at all. We will not accept it, anyone to corner us to, and to say that this is with Israel. We already recognize Israel. We, 30 years ago, the Palestinian Liberation Organization, the sole and the, um, uh, the, 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 the sole representative of the uh, Palestinian people recognize Israel. Already we recognize Israel. The issue is not with Israel, not with the Israeli, not with the Judaism at all. There is an occupation. Will anyone in the world gonna accept the, anyone to occupy him, um, his country? This is very principled. Is it legitimate for the Palestinian to, uh, to call for their self-determination? Is it legal? Is it legitimate? Is it basic right for anyone to have his self-determination? All of the African country, after they became, uh, after they liberated themselves, they became uh, uh, um, countries and the state and liberated themselves up according to the very basic principle, self-determination. And this is what that we are seeking as a Palestinian people. We will not accept the occupation period. If anyone would like us to, um, to, uh, to give the Israeli occupation the red carpet, this will not happen, will not happen at all. No, the question yes, is, did yes, we choose I'm this? Talking, no, no, yes, 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 of course, of course. Did we choose, did we as a Palestinian choose to be occupied? 
This is the point. This is the essence. This is the source. This is the main root of the issue. We did not choose to be to be fallen under the Israeli occupation. This is the point. Under any circumstance, when you want to solve any problem, the A, B, C tools to solve any problem is to go to the root of it, not to say what is happening, what is the consequence. All of what you uh, what we uh, we watch these days is the consequence to the Israeli occupation. When we solve the, Israel, the problem of the Israeli occupation from the root, all of this will be eliminated. This is what did the history used to, uh, what did the history learn us? I'm represented the government here, and we as a Palestinian government have one, one, one tongue, one word. International law, international law, international applicability of the international law. This is the same message that we're going to convey it, whether to the Israeli government or any government all around the world. Let us, for the first time ever in this cause, in this Palestinian cause, to uphold, to stand firm, to apply the international law. Period. Is it fair or not fair? No, I'm asking, is it fair to up uphold and apply the international? You mean, what is my message to my yes, people yes. in Gaza, my family in Gaza, yes. my personal family in Gaza? Yes. I have nothing to tell them. I pray to God to protect everyone. Mm. That's it. I have no message to them. I have no message to uh, what I can. Uh, I, I could not communicate with them. I did not. I disconnected f uh, to communicate with them since more than 24 hours. I have no message to my people in Gaza. Just to say, I'm praying for every soul of you. I'm praying that God is saving you all. Not only for my, uh, my, my Palestinian people, for everyone all around the world. Mm -hmm. We care about the Palestinian, we care. Every human life for us is, um, uh, is valid. Every human life matter. Every human life matter. Whether he's Israeli, Jew, Christian, Palestinian, Muslim, we cannot differentiate. We are decent people. We are honest enough to not differentiate between the, the people themselves.